professional speaker and author. I am here at any time fitness in Wald Lake, Michigan with owner and trainer, Ms. Mrs. Jennifer Lawrence. And I'm happy to report, you all know that for 90 days I've been undercover fitness observer, what I call USO, UFO visits, all across Metro Detroit from all types of fitness facilities, large gyms, small gyms, commercial gyms, private gyms, title boxing clubs, yoga studios, and everything in between. And I'm happy to come back and kind of crash this facility again today and uh, let Jennifer know that she was number one. Thank you. Um, I was evaluating, you didn't know when I came in, evaluating everything from the training to the sales experience, and that particular visit was absolutely flawless. So kudos to you, and like I said, thank you for being a good sport, allowing me to come back and talk to you and gain some more insights. And I noticed since I've come in today that you've got a sign on your door for top-rated customer service. Correct. Uh, yep. Recognized by Anytime Fitness Corporate, so kudos to you, congratulations, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so on to the insights, Jennifer, so tell us about your fitness journey. Um, yeah, pretty much I have been a, you know, passionate about fitness my entire life, even from a little girl. Um, instead of playing house with my cousins, we played, I was the fitness instructor. So just, I always knew in my heart it's something I wanted to do. Um, I knew from a very young age I, that's what I wanted to study in college and go into and pursue a career um, in the fitness industry. So um, right from the get out, I just kind of uh, did all those criteria and moved along to, to move into the fitness industry. So it's just always been something I love to work out myself, and then I knew I wanted to just um, portray that in others as well. So. Awesome. And also kind of taking that one step further, Jennifer, so tell us, why did you become a personal trainer? I've, I've seen everything during this 90 day, during my undercover business, everything from you know, people who perhaps you know, weren't in it for the right reasons, to people who are passionate like yourself, and that's why I consider you to be a best practice in terms of passion for fitness. So let us know why you became a personal trainer. It's so um, important. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just along what I said before. It's just always something that I've loved to do. I've always loved to work out, you know, be fit. Um, I've always been interested in eating correctly. And really, I'm the only one in my family that is really just passionate about fitness. So I'm really not sure where I got the gene from, if you will. But um, yeah, so I just knew I wanted to become a trainer and help others to, to develop the same passion that, that I have. So. Hopefully I've done that. <laughs> and what about, because I came, as you know, I came undercover as a gym newbie, so a person who's never been in a fitness facility before, just starting out. And what advice do you have for, for that person who has just started out and they need to develop a passion for fitness? You and I know we've both been kind of lifelong, passionate folks about fitness, grew up with it, but there's a lot of folks who have it, so they need the encouragement and kind of motivation. So what are your thoughts along that area? Yeah, I mean, I really feel like it's, it's uh, important to just Start small and just take one day at a time. Set a goal, a long-term goal, but just take it one day at a time and believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it, and um, you know proper nutrition and the proper person to help you there. Um, you know get through it and guide you through the right path. You know anybody can do it. It's really I'm no special than anybody else. Really anybody can do it. You just have to have the want to do it and the will to do it and then, um, and the knowledge to do it. Helps. <laughs> but uh, but just believing in yourself and setting a goal and just taking it one day at a time. Mm, great feedback. And also, just something just popped into my head as I keep looking at your top rated customer service. What's your, because like I said, I'm not surprised to come back and see that sign on there. What's your, because I watched you interact with different people that day. Um, what's your approach to customer service? Um, um, people come in. I just love people in general. I love learning about people um, and just giving them a great experience, again, just knowing that they may or may not have a um, past with the fitness industry, so I just want to give them the best experience possible, give them, every, show them everything that we have to offer in our facility, and just hope that it's good enough for what they're looking for. Um, but I try to just be upfront with people, not hide anything, not just be very transparent with as far as prices, and there's no surprises at the end, like nothing like that, and I think just people appreciate that when you just be upfront with them. And, Show them everything you have to offer, and um, you know that we're not trying to take advantage of anybody. Just, you know, just trying to help them, really. So, awesome. like I said, when I came in, it was absolutely, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, does she know that I'm undercover? And something was actually funny that happened, and I basically made a mental note that I was like, she's good. And you remember when I came in? Actually, all of my business, I had on three layers, I had on these big coats, layers underneath. And you were the only person in 90 days to actually catch me. 
And I told you what my weight loss goal was when I came in. It was like, I need to lose 20 pounds. And you were like, no, you don't. You know? <laughs> the only person, what that told me was, is that you're a good judge of body composition. And that's something that's very important for a trainer to have. Even when somebody's coming in with three layers, you didn't know I was undercover kind of what I was doing. But it's just traits like that. When someone's passionate about fitness, when they love what they do, when they love people, and they genuinely want to help people, those are the types of traits that you need to look for in terms of the facility, but also in terms of the trainer. And so I want to encourage you guys, you know how strongly I feel about not settling in life. So whether you're a gym owner and you're looking for trainers, uh, group fitness instructors, you need people that are passionate. You need people that love people that are in it for the right reasons and the motives are right. But also if you're looking for a trainer or group fitness instructor, look at somebody with, you've been a trainer for how long? Uh, since 01, so, so yeah, 15 years. 15 years yeah. as a trainer. So, you deserve the best. Don't settle for anything less than the best. And continued kudos to you, continued success. Thank you. I know Anytime Fitness was ranked number one global franchise for 2015 for entrepreneur, from Entrepreneur Magazine, ranked number two in terms of the US. So you all are definitely doing some things right. And so thank you for your encouragement, for sharing your insights with others. I know it will help some folks. And just keep making it happen in the fitness world. I'm confident you'll do so. Thank, thank you. you.